Our forests are the sources of wood trees and catchment for clean water. But of late, our forests continue to be under serious threat due to increase in population and people looking for farming land. Rural communities heavily depend on trees for many uses, including fuel, fencing, building, fruits, and ornamentals. Energy plays a significant role in our lives. We need energy for cooking, lighting, warming, and drying. In rural areas and to some urban dwellers, fuel wood is the principal source of energy, but is often in short supply. In Kenya, fuel woods, charcoal and crop residues account for more than 75% of the total energy consumed. As firewood is the main source of energy for the rural poor, Looking for it for some communities is a big task, especially to those living very far from forests. Because of the continued destruction, we end up with dried rivers and soil erosion becomes the order of the day. For us who cook with firewood, are we comfortable? How much are we endangered by the fumes? In many households in the rural areas, you're likely to find livestock, and with this, cow dung, which is swept, thrown, or sometimes used as manure. While in some rural settings, gas is used to cook. Yes, gas, not LPG, but affordable gas, biogas. Biogas holds the greatest promise as a cheap household energy source because it is renewable, simple to generate, convenient to use, and cheap. I'm ready, 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 Biogas is a combination of gases produced during anaerobic decomposition of organic materials of plant origin. On farm, it is derived from anaerobic decomposition of livestock wastes, that is dung, urine, and waste feeds. The main gaseous byproduct is methane with less carbon dioxide, ammonia, and hydrogen. Biogas from the livestock wastes burns well when methane is greater than 70%. Methane is light, colorless, odorless, and highly inflammable gas, second only to nitrogen in the energy released per gram of fuel burned. Hence, its potential as a household energy source. We are ready to launch the Munamo Amaka Elfumbiri Nasta. Na ukaoneka na ukafanyika kwa araka ukaisha. Wakati ilimalizika kutengenezwa, tukaanza kuijaribu. Tukaona inafanya vizuri. Sasa kwanza tuli feed cow dung ikaja kwa dum na ikatokea expansion chamber huko ikionyesha sasa gasi iko nyingi na inaweza fanya sasa tangia mwako huo wa 2006 hadi sasa inafanya vizuri kwa ajili vile tunaendelea ku feed na inaendelea ku produce gas nyingi pia hata inaweza fanya kwa taa mimi ndio nimechelewa kuweka kwa hivyo naweza fanya upisi na taa inaweza fanya kwa hivyo imenipunguzia gharama ya mafuta 
nilemeenda juu na pia gharama ya kuni nayo ni nyingi juu upishi kwa jikoni ni mwingi mno kuliko kitu kingine juu watu wanahitaji chakula wengine wakati wa mvua wanahitaji waoge na maji moto sasa hiyo inasaidia sana Biogas provides an alternative source of energy thus reducing the rate of deforestation It is a relatively cheap source of energy It improves crop livestock tree system through nutrient cycling It reduces time and workload of collecting fuel wood It reduces kitchen smoke pollution thereby promoting human health It promotes good health through safe treatment of manures The slurry is a rich source of nitrogen phosphorus potassium and other macronutrients How does all this work? We visited a lady in Gidongori who takes us through her plant. Unakoroga, ukiona kahuti za saa hiyo, unatoa. <laughs> unatoa. Hii inatoa mahuti kwa maana ikiingia pale pale uda na kaa ile nyungu iko sini. Ikienda nyingi pale hatapungana. Na hakipungana hakuna mtu ataweza kuingia atoe hiyo mahuti. Mm. Sasa ikikorogeka, eh, hii unaona mm. si mbelezi. Mm. Oh. ya kuenda sasa hii ndio inaingiza huko ndani kabisa gasi yako akisa iko sasa hapa hapa ndani huko si hapa juu mm, chini chini kabisa eh mm. na roho nimeelewa iko gune kwa ya mawe hapa na iko ingine ya chuma hapa mi naingiza kidole siwezi kufikisha huko wapi gasi natoka hapa na hii ni ni hii ndio ba mm. tulikuwa tunaeleza tuweke ifuneke ikuwa peke yake mm ile nachukua pumusi iko sini sana uh -huh. eh alafu inapeleka wapi na esi funikwa ni kitu mm. kwa maana iko na waya sasa esi ingia kitu ni pumusi tu ita itachukua hata ikikaa kwa kwa huko ndani kuna mtu naeleza naona ngasi tu hii ikija pale mm mare ya kutoka ndio tuone mbolea na kutia pale. Oh, kwa hivyo hii ni mbolea sasa. Sasa hii ni ile inaipa. Imeiva. Inaenda kwa shamba. Inaenda kwa shamba. Sasa tulikuwa na shida sana makijenda za meleza. Sasa tukirokota mbolea yangu yote tulete hapa. Takua ni kikuu. Takua unatumia nini? Ehe. Gaeleto ile utatumia. Ni ile safi kabisa kwa maana hata hapana weka fertilizer. Na na sikinya unaona sokoma mhm mm hapo halikuwa biasi eh ya kuweka na na hii but some users have faced challenges that need to be addressed ita katika hiyo hiyo January 2008 sasa kuanzia hapo hatujawahi kupata hiyo moto shida ya ili ili kuweko vile mimi nilisuspect ni itaweza kuwa na na rike chi, chini ya tangi na hiyo nafikiria wenye wenye walianzisha hii muradi wakirudia wa watakurekebisha watu wenye tuna train wa kichwa wanaenda alafu wenye wanakuja hawana ujuzi vizuri ndio sasa sa zingine feeding inakuwa mbaya na sometimes hatuna maji we don't have pipe the water we depend on uh, rain water sometimes we fetch from the rivers so sometimes when we don't have water and uh, maybe i'm not around the workers cannot do it the way i could have done it you need a steady supply of cow dung you have to have the animals 
you need to have a steady supply of water, reliable staff who will be able to mix clean manure, clean cow dung without excluding any waste which will otherwise fail the system and thereafter a, an efficient demand or use of the same gas. Through the GTZ private sector development in agriculture, with assistance of European Union, farmers are constructing biogas plants. Gas in Akosaga, in Akosa, Arafukuni in Akosa, Namaka, Chakos, in Akosa, Nidipon Idiamua, Nijaga biogas, Iri in Isaidia, Kupika, Nakuona. A biogas system consists of substrate inlet. This consists of receptacle for the raw, fresh organic matter waste and a pipe of at least 10 centimeters diameter leading to a digester. The connection between the inlet and digester must be airtight. The digester is a reservoir of organic wastes in which the substrate is acted on by anaerobic microorganisms to produce biogas. This is the biogas uh, digester, which you didn't have an opportunity to see because it was underground. This is where you mix the substrate, the chamber, you release the material into this dome, which is underground, and this is where the digestion takes place. You can see the gas is produced, it moves up the pipe and goes to the user, and when the gas increases here, this substrate moves down, and the material expands to the extraction chamber, and from there it is used in the field. The small scale plant will cost you about 120,000 Kenya shillings but will last you 30 years before servicing. Do we see this as working in larger institutions? PSDA has assisted a slaughterhouse in Kisarian to construct a biogas plant, therefore adding economic value to the waste. This has not been without challenges. Hii maji ambaye munaita silari ambaye inaenda kwa muto, inaribu maji, inagua kuna maji masafi katika muto. We are charging these digesters with the wastewater from the slaughterhouse. We have a daily amount of uh, between 5 and 8 cubic meters of wastewater per day. At the moment we are charging that digester which is communicating to the second digester. Egerton University is an institution with an agricultural background. They have been using biogas for cooking. Sometimes Kwa sababu inatusaindia kabisa. Tuna, tukipika na ya tuoni tofauti na LPG, inaibisha sa, araka saindi. Kwa hivi hata tungetaka nyingi saindi diyo tuweze kutumia. Inatusaindia sana sana. Before the plant was established, the cow dung was littered all over the place, collected occasionally as, and used as manure directly. But with the establishment of this plant, we are able to get in the tune of up to 30% of what uh, of our energy requirements in our kitchen. For you to have a successful institutional one, we need to understand how theirs has worked. There was need to bring in this new technology, renewable energy waste, because we have enough animals on this farm actually currently in a tune of 130 animals. Overnight the dung and we are able to collect this dung and that is the one we are in this facility converting to get us biogas which is then used in the kitchen. 
The challenge has been how to deal with the slurry. Is there anything being done? This uh, uh, effluent is always very heavy and cumbersome to transport and use. So my intention is to dry it and keep it in a form that is storable. I'm out to determine the optimum drying conditions that will not uh, affect the characteristics that are desirable for use so that we can reconstitute it back and get the same characteristics. We are grateful to GDZ, the German Foundation, through PSDA of the Ministry of Agriculture, which joined us to establish this plant. Use biogas for clean and efficient cooking and conserve our trees. For more information, please contact GTZ PSDA on Woodlands Road near State House, Nairobi or any agricultural office in your area.